a, a call upon our uh, deputy general manager with uh, NTUA Wireless, uh, Ms. Delina Sosi. She'll be uh, addressing the welcome address. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate okay. you being here today. And everyone else, Adan Hano Yahigi, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you all being here on this special occasion today. Ado She Ya Velina Sosi Wunchia Twitch Eatni in Shla Tachitni Bashishin Kiani Dashiche do Twatsotni E Dashana Lehud Aya Sonenchna Adon Le Chin Li Spider Rot for Yedo Eya Ado Shishike Ko Kiha Kwan Hano Yahigi for this special day. I wanted to start off this celebration um, with thanking and recognizing Delegate Amber Crotty. Um, if it weren't for if it weren't for Mrs. Cr Ms. Delegate Crotty here, uh, we would not have the CARES Act legislation passed um, and, and put it to work. So we thank you for yeah. believing in us, giving us the opportunity, and we cannot express enough gratitude for all the work you've done. And in a time when the Navajo people are going through a tough time and this unprecedented mm. pandemic, mm. Um, you know, we're, we're, it's very inspiring with all the work that you've done. So thank you. I wanted to make sure that we express our gratitude to you for giving us the opportunity to bring this tower to the Biklabato community. And as a result of, of, of the work that has been done, this we've celebrated 84 towers or upgrades so far and with the Clabato site this is the 85th site celebration okay so we want to say thank you for that and um, we also um, want to express our gratitude and our appreciation to the Navajo Nation president Jonathan Nez and vice president Myron Lizer they ran yep they ran on a platform of working together and this is the seventh ribbon cutting event we've had since we've started in August. Yes, and we've, we've had seven of these to um, mark the milestone of each one of those events along the way. And, um, you know, with President Nez and Vice President Lizer's working together platform, we all come together to bring this moment for the Biklabato community. And as a result, the Biklabato community will have fast and reliable, more importantly, affordable cell phone services and internet services in your community. So we thank you and everyone else. We have the chapter vice president, chapter president, the grazing official, and all the community members who have made this possible. We thank you and we're happy to be a part of your community going forward. It's in TUA and in TUA Wireless. So a hat and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Belina. Yeah, I don't mind your hands, please, Elena. Belina. I don't know. Nations, any you do, na hat na. Let me just quiet you. You saw how it, it, Daniel, and how it happened. Job well done. And then many more. I'd like to call upon our uh, general counsel with NTOA, Mr. Arash. And good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Arash Nathan Mwalami. I told Lini Nishle, my father's uh, Persian clan Bashachin, Ki Ani Dashache, and my uh, Persian clan Dashanelli. Um, I'm general counsel for NTUA. So, on behalf of NTUA, I, first off, I want to thank the Baklabato community for hosting us. Um, this wouldn't be able, we wouldn't have this event without you. So, we, we appreciate and we want to thank you for hosting us for this event and bringing us to your home. So, we appreciate that. Um, as Ms. Sosi mentioned, this was truly a collaborative effort. Um, first off, by the Navajo Nation Council, um, and Ms. Amber uh, Naz Bakari already uh, was, was mentioned um, as a pivotal part of this uh, CARES Act and getting approved and through the council. Um, also from the Office of President, Vice President, um, working with uh, Jonathan Nez, uh, Myron Lizer, and more importantly, his division directors, the Office of Controller, and all the directors out there putting their hands to the, you know, uh, putting it, working on this project. And then uh, also the, the local community. So without the local community, the support of the local community, this project would not have come together. Um, this is one of four towers that uh, NTUA built with the CARES Act. So this tower uh, started from scratch. So this tower did not exist a few months ago. And one of the challenges with this tower, each, each tower in each location is a unique challenge. And with this location, 
we hit pretty much uh, volcanic rock or hard rock at the at the bottom. So we had to go to plan B and plan C to make this project work. So with the dedication of the team members and with the community and with all of our contractors, we were able to get this project uh, built and in the air. This is a 180 foot um, self-supporting tower that will support the local community in different um, areas around there. So this will provide uh, cellular and broadband services for the foreseeable future. So we're excited for this project. Um, this is, like I said, one of the four CARES Act uh, towers we built. We've connected 719 families to the electric grid with CARES Act, 30 uh, families with waterline extensions, um, 42 student Wi-Fi hotspots, 300 off-grid solar units, uh, 105 cistern systems. So the list keeps going and going. And uh, without the support, once again, with the Navajo Nation Council, with the Office of President, Vice President, and with the local community, these projects would not be able to be built and put in the ground all in the name of preventing the spread of COVID-19 on the Navajo Nation. So on behalf of NTUA, uh, I want to thank the local community and the leadership for allowing NTUA to build this tower and uh, providing these services to the local community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arash. Thank you for your hard work. Yeah. Um, at this time, I'd like to uh, call upon our uh, Navajo Nation, Honorable Navajo Nation President, Mr. Jonathan Nez. <laughs> Walter Haas, Rex Coots, J. Aja, it's a day down Lenigi, Edo Bahia needs a Bananisha da Yilagi. So, Jo A. A. da Yila. The La Ya E. Aha. Say on the on Leden Dalnish. A. She da here, Nakata be the needle there. Ad Nakan Dalnishigi Edo. A con the A. You see? A. You see? Lay a nas sauce. Kade Legia Ashe Kudje Keda had inigi but up at top, Dob and Nago Ked inigi A dot Jenny Hinni can not a con, not so spell at that so sing or taught Nas Nellan or Sinigi A dot con and he not any Ashe did not hit a hada zit or less out on your best pass under and he might delegate Amber Crowdy A dot a share. จุกจีเอียเยซีซิดิอาตีเดดะนิสเอชิอาเดนาซอเซลาตาสเลอาโดอาจินดาลเนชิกิทะนาซัลดันเลนิกินาลซอสอ่าอะดายิลลาอะส
so uh, on behalf of everybody uh, throughout the Navajo Nation, the community here, we thank everybody for their hard work on this project, a cell tower for high speed internet, uh, cell phone capability. And as I was saying, there's even some people that are still up there right now as we speak, uh, putting in the last finishing touches so that the community of the top of top can have reliable high-speed internet and cell service so in this day and age of uh, COVID-19 we know it's very important that we get uh, internet act capability access uh, to our Navajo folks because many of our students are still at home uh, logging in to get their homework get their uh, instructions on a daily basis and, uh, and some of our uh, Navajo Nation people are also working from home, so it is very important to have reliable internet and cell uh, capability here on the Navajo Nation. As was mentioned, this is seven projects using CARES Act. As of today, there are more to come, uh, and we just appreciate the great partnership by the local community, the local chapter, the chapter officials, the uh, the uh, uh, chapter administration. You know, they're the ones who began all the paperwork and started to advocate on behalf of what the citizens said, have, have wanted for the community and Delegate Crotty being a champion for, for this community and the communities that she represents. We thank her for her tireless work uh, throughout this pandemic on behalf of everyone, not just her, her region, but all across the Navajo Nation. And we have the vice president here and our Miss Navajo, you know, and, and many of us that are here, I see a ranger here, Navajo Ranger. Thank you. These are our frontline workers that are uh, working every day to keep us all safe. But let us say thank you to each and every one of them for their, their work. And everybody that's here, the partnership that's in place from NTUA, the leadership that spoke here, thank you so much. This is what you call working together, collaborating. So thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your prayers. That's the foundation of getting a lot of these things done. You see a lot of things happening. I mean, leadership, we could take credit, but you know what? It's really the prayers of our Navajo people that are making things move in our communities. So thank you. Continue to pray. We have a lot of exciting news. Uh, that we're working with the council on a lot of great reports as well uh, visit our, our social media pages to get updates on a daily basis so thank you so much i'll turn the time back over to larry here god bless you and god bless our great navajo nation thank you for your uh, leadership and for your um for your prayers also Honorable Delegate uh, Amber Crotty, she quite about Okay, so, so uh, here on the Navajo Nation, we have a lot of people who are in the Navajo Nation. Amber, can you tell us But um, I represent seven communities on the Navajo Nation. So it's uh, Sheep Springs, Two Gray Hills, Tolina, Sonosti, Red Valley, Cove, Gudiai, and Bicabato. And I think working together, not only with our chapter officials and our district, um, we're really seeing uh, the fruit of our prayers and our dreams that our community has talked about for many, many, many years. Um, I wanna thank President Jonathan Nez, Vice President Lizer, uh, the council, and working with NTUA in those brutal weekly calls in terms of not only getting the funding for the CARES with all of the restrictions that our federal um, U.S. Treasury uh, put on the Navajo Nation. We wanted to do more projects. We wanted to bring more water, more broadband, but we were limited. And I think that was the most frustrating 
aspect and um, educating our congressional leadership on how they could continue to support Navajo Nation when it comes to right of ways, when it comes to land withdrawals, when it makes sure that we could provide infrastructure for our people. Broadband is now considered a basic human right in our communities. You need to have access for when there's an emergency. You need to know if, um, if someone is hurt. Our children need to have access to their education, to their teachers and to tutoring. And we could maximize our economic development by putting um, our businesses online and capturing that global market. It just makes sense that in this day and age that Navajo Nation leadership, working with our chapter officials, build that into our planning. And that's where we rely on our NQA partners. As subject matter experts, you know the challenges and all the hurdles to get there. We need your help so that we can advocate on the national stage and tell our congressional leadership, Navajo Nation is, is stunting growth because you've put barriers for us. And how are you going to help us as this next round of CARES money comes in? Because we're not gonna stop in this community with just the tower. We have road conditions, we have a school down the hill, and we have elders here who want to have first class medical service. And that's our goal and our dream for Biclabato. This community here has had a long history of professional working people. We have world renowned herbalists, um, Dr. Clifford in this community. We have a uh, former delegate, uh, John, who advocated for this community and was impacted by by uranium and how that uh it took him it took him away from us too early and so as this community continues to heal they they put the prayers and the blessing that they wanted to see their children be here at the Clobital, have a career here nearby have their children be raised here so they can enjoy look at this beautiful scenery here all of our mountains all the river, the, the herb, the vegetation. This is who we are and we want our children here. And so with the chapter um, officials working with our regional partners at uh, the New Mexico State, uh, Representative Allison, Senator Pinto, it really does take a lot of work. And I know that, and we've heard from the parents that there's a decision by our local school board to start with a hybrid model and there's some fear from the community and they said if we just had better broadband that would help me help my child at school so the work that you're doing here is protecting our people as we all get vaccinated as we all move to try to reintegrate on what the future looks like but i think in terms of up here on the on this hill underneath is that volcanic rock that tells a story that we're going to continue to be here and we're going to be continue to be strong and that our families are going to continue to work together and all of you coming here you're bringing that essence you're bringing that energy here and we want to continue to work with you and with the president's office for all of your support thank you president nez we know at times it's uh, challenging to make decisions that are not <clears throat> popular and we know through prayer and strength that um, you and your administration are doing the best that you can. And we continue to stand by and assist you in those efforts and look forward to what we can do working together. So thank you very much. Thank you all for coming out. And if you didn't today, text, call your child and let them know that you love them. Sometimes in this world, they're, they're not sure where they stand. Let's make sure that we're that solid foundation for them. So yeah, thank you, Vice President Lizer. You did a great job in your in your town hall. I watched you driving up and I already noticed the improvement in cell service. As I drove up here, we were able to still um, do our work on the council. So yeah, thank you for all coming out. Thank you very much. Oh, if I can say it, I'm sorry. I want to thank Mr. Basenti here with the Office of Navajo Telecommunications Regulatory commission. Regulatory commission and the commissioners. <laughs> they have been working hard in partnership with Navajo Cyber Team. If you've never heard of the Navajo Cyber Team, they're a group of ad hoc group of all of our IT professionals who knew these challenges and have worked together because we lost an officer because we didn't have communication. Lives are in danger. 
And so coming together, they have a solid plan for Navajo Nation. So Mr. Bassetti and his team working with the cyber team, hands down, got the money for the E-rate. So that means we're gonna have uh, a better rate so that it doesn't cost the chapter or the school this high rate that you can open it up and provide those services. So I wanna thank Mr. Bassenti and his commissioners uh, for leading that way. And we look forward to um, bringing the next technology for E911 and um, how we roll out broadband working with the NES Lizer administration. Thank you very much. Amber Crotty. Ado, thank you for everything, Ms. Crotty, mm -hmm. for um, your leadership. And then, and then, and then, and and then, and then, and then, Ado are the Dyson of Sangi, Quagging, Yenat Anni, Hatahatsiho, Kundi, Yeta Holo, Bahajondo Yat, Eta is Nil Sangi, Kodoi, um, our Honorable Navajo Nation Vice President, Myron Lizer, Ebana Hatish, as Kondeka. Yeah, appreciate it. Yat Edo, Shah, Sik Edo, Sidonet, Vice President Lizer here, Kamanchi Nislan, Tohana, Bus's team, Do Kamanchi Desache. Oh, it's good to be here with you all and uh, what a great time to be dedicating a new tower bringing expanded broadband and wireless service to Abatol. Uh, they're the benefactors right and uh, and then the many more people passing through here and as we heard from Delegate Crotty public safety right so the measures that were taken here uh, legislating resolutions passing of bills and laws and then uh, 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 bringing on funding uh, in this case the CARES Act so your CARES Act dollars for going to work for you all Sidonia, all across our land and so we look forward to the next project I want to thank uh, Valina Sosi, uh, the Deputy General Manager Ito Wireless and Naresh and all those as uh, President said uh, Wally House and uh, Rex Coots over at N2A so it's a great team and uh, the Nesleiser administration along with our 24th Navajo Nation Council we appreciate Amber uh, Delegate Crotty's uh, uh, leadership and uh, it's just working for the people with the people in mind we begin with what we would like to see and uh, we get to the grassroots and go to the chapter level because it needs to be felt at the chapter level right in other words all, all the other things that we do you know it's just uh, um, I guess uh, you know work that we feel is is needed but once you get down to the chapter level as you see the hopes and the dreams of our people and uh, we take those they resonate with us and we try to give them some legs and with their work we can and but I think much prayer too uh, we appreciate the prayer this this morning uh this afternoon oh, it is still morning so how many of you know you can look at your phone now and uh, you'll see and get a strong signal find out what time it is so it's gonna be great you know and then we're not done yet we're not done there's a second round of funding coming and uh, we look forward to building more infrastructure right we got to advance water. We got to take uh, electricity to every home. We got to uh, bring broadband, enhanced broadband at that. Thank you to Chris Vicente and his leadership for that 2.5 uh, uh, spectrum that uh, everybody's been talking about. Everything adds up to the final product, which is in a, a better quality of life for our citizens. And so we appreciate you. We continue to pray for you all. May you be found safe during this COVID-19 as you get uh, inoculated, you get the vaccine in our arms. 101,000 people right now have been vaccinated, beat our goal by you know uh, a few uh, weeks onward let's go let's get some more vaccines here and then uh, more of our people you know 175,000 maybe 200,000 of our, our citizens to get vaccinated here so uh, it's a great collaboration again you know, all, you know uh, kind of the mechanism we get uh, I guess camera time and uh, we take kind of credit it seems like but it's really uh, thousands of people behind the scenes that enable opportunities like this to happen so appreciative of everybody that's been laying their hand to this work god bless them may they be kept safe through this COVID-19 but uh, onward we go to the next project and so we just appreciate all the leadership that's here that spoke thank you all and uh, God bless you and uh, I'm gonna turn it back over to you Larry and so let's continue to pray for our nation God bless you thank you honorable uh, vice president Myron Lizer thank you for your leadership all your good work and your efforts and your blessings sir God bless you 
Kodoshe Yahai, our Navajo Nation Telecommunication Regulatory Commission Executive Director, Chris Pacenti, Ekwa Abaho Disha. Good morning, everyone. My name is Christopher Pacenti, Executive Director for the Navajo Nation Telecommunications Regulatory Commission. Kiani, Toadlini, Pashachi, Tatnazana Dashate, Patatni Dashanele. So, good morning, and again, I just want to express my excitement for this because this is a uh, many installments that the CARES funding is providing permanent infrastructure for for the Navajo Nation. So, um, there are many people to thank, and of course, collaboration with the Navajo Nation. You have both branches, the legislative and executive. So, I'd like to thank 24th Navajo Nation Council, uh, President Nez, Vice President Lizer. Um, all the people that has contributed to this land department, NTUA, so many different people have had their hands in this and, and just trying to get these things done. Again, one of the things I stress is typically the logistics for getting these things done take months and possibly years. They were able to knock it out in a matter of six months, five months. So it, again, efficiency at the finest. So another of course, congratulations to the community of Baclavato. I know you guys have been eagerly looking forward to this day. And one of the important people that I'd actually like to thank, especially, is Clyde Cachado. He's actually entering into retirement. And this is, I want to say, his final product that he's providing to Navajo Nation. So, Mr. Clyde Cachado, thank you for your dedication. This is, this is your day. Uh, I wish you were here. <laughs> Um, and of course, President Nez, as well as uh, Delegate Amber Crowdy, we were mentioning earlier, E-Rate. That's going to be the next biggest thing that we're going to be tasking all of our service providers to start working on. Uh, 90 chapters have been awarded with a handful of head starts as well. So it's been over a decade since Navajo Nation has applied for E-Rate. So this is definitely, this entire month is, it's going to definitely go down in the, in the history of books for Navajo Nation as something that's going to be def definitely changing infrastructure for Navajo Nation. So again, last week celebrating Tuba City getting their fiber installation. Mm -hmm. This week we're here and too many things are happening. The next one's going to be the 2.5 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. Last Friday, uh, Vice President Lizer was able to go before the NTIA and testify at the, uh, the consultation. And then just before that, we had the FCC roundtable. So there's many things going on right now with the uh, emergency broadband funds. That's something that's going to definitely be allocated to tribes because the amount that the emergency broadband fund is going to be providing is up to $75 off the monthly bill of your internet service. So if you're eligible for certain programs, they're, they're still working without the finer details right now, but please keep an eye on the emergency broadband fund that for the from FCC that's going to be coming out and they have 3.4 billion allocated so with that tribal members are eligible for up to $75 off their monthly recurring cost so as if you can keep an eye on uh, all the local media outlets we'll do our best to inform the public as necessary with our commissioners through our commissioners so the other additional thing is NTIA they allocated 1 billion to distribute among all the tribes for broadband infrastructure all across the country so those two things were critical last week so i'd like to thank uh president Nez as well especially uh vice president Lizer for going before those two uh fcc as well as ntia the gosh 2.5 gigahertz uh one thing that i did mention earlier a lot of tribes are being awarded. I know you may not see Navajo Nation being awarded right now, but there's a reason for that. Back in January of 2020, President Nez, as well as myself and a few, uh, a few delegates, went before FCC to express some concerns that we had for the 2.5 gigahertz. That basically is the map. Eastern Agency as well as REMA. Those areas are all checkerboard, so when you try and engineer a wireless network for those areas, it's impossible to engineer. So basically what we did is just kind of pr provide a cookie cut. So if you see the, the way the Navajo Nation is laid out on the, the COVID-19 uh, territories, the districts, 
when you see that map that's basically the same map we're going after as well so eastern agency hang tight we're that's we're trying to do what we can to expand and with wireless technology into 2.5 gigahertz that's definitely going to be able to provide 25 megabits down and three megabits up as a minimum that's what the commissioners uh, i'd also like to in introduce our commissioners we have chairman Ar arvin trujillo vice chairman alex montoya uh, commissioner christina tatsukawa Cr commissioner norbert nez and commissioner nadine claw so those those five folks have been working pretty hard around a lot of the stuff that we've been working with and collaborating with with all of our service providers so I just want to say thank you again to everyone. Thank you for the invitation and just giving you a brief update of what we're doing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for your efforts and hard work and doing a good job, sir. More power to you. Namho Nation, Miss Shandine Parish. Hello everybody, good morning from the Clabbit School, um, New Mexico. We are currently on the border of the Arizona and New Mexico state line. Um, and we can see Colorado in the distance. It's a very beautiful area to be in. We're on top of a plateau, as everybody has mentioned, and we're just taking in all of the Navajo Nation. It's good to be here today. Um, but today we are celebrating a new tower for this area. And ultimately, and, and more so, I guess, we are celebrating the future of the Navajo Nation. What this tower represents is what our future children and the generations to come can accomplish. This is a part of our infrastructure. This is a part of the Navajo Nation today that will support the dreams and the um, aspirations of our young Diné children. You see, when our children, there's a school just below here, they can see all of the um, Choice Wireless um, employees and also everybody that, that brought in the material here and they're probably wondering what's going on and that might incline them to think of questions and wonder how somebody could build something so tall um, today and so quickly. So that sparks imagination and that sparks a lot of interest in the STEM fields, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. And that is good for our people because we can continue to build upon that. And I think that's amazing because it it's more than um, internet connectivity, but it's the um, foundation to a brighter future. So I just want to say thank you to our council delegates, Amber Crotty, our chapter officials, because it isn't without our chapter officials that we could have the um, new tower in this area and continue to find a proper space for um, further connectivity on the Navajo Nation. So I'm excited to see what comes next and excited to see how we can further um, connect our Navajo people. Um, again, thank you to Choice Wireless, thank you to NTUA. I always uh, mention that I'm a proud Choice Wireless um, member too. So uh, thank you so much, Ike. <laughs> All right. Now be hope it's Ike. It's you can get your hands on Selene Shandine Parish. I don't know if you can get your hands on Selene the <laughs> chapter president uh, Melissa Kelly or afternoon anyway my name's um, Melissa Kelly 
Ani kado shutai da lugi mention ilias batabato chapter president. This is my second month serving the great community of batabato. Ado shu clan e ya bat ani shal kentu chini ba shu chini. And um, before I go any further, I'd like to give credit where credit is due. She ani, this is my second month serving as a president. There's a president before me. HCD plan the yila about three four months ago. That's it passed a resolution and they worked tirelessly on this project and I'd like to mention our late uh, Raymond Charlie he's the one that has um, has worked on this project and then uh, vice president um, Hazel Sherman she's she was uh, our former um, vice president and she won election again so she's uh, my right hand person here and also I'd like to recognize Larry Jack too. A to project Dianashnish and um, Renita Anderson. She's uh, also serving with us this term again. So I'd like to uh, recognize them for the work that they've done in getting this tower built here in Maclabato. And then um, if you recall, many many years ago, um, there's a U.S. president that came to Shiprock. I'd say about 20 years ago, some of you remember President uh, Clinton. He thought, he said, we're bringing digital divine to the Navajo Nation, Nene. So we're seeing it today. We're, we're seeing towers pop up here and there for a speedy uh, internet service and also for cellular services. But most of all, um, it's the community here in Meklabito that make this possible because they any project starts with them they approve it and um that because of their support we've come this far to building this tower and um also i would like to thank uh, ntua all the laborers all the workers that worked on the tower even the planning phase too and all the engineers that made it possible and for our great leader uh, Ms. amber crotty and also uh, for jonathan nez and liza and all the staff that they work with so I'd like to thank them all. Ashion so hasitola. Thank you. Yat Ashen and Janon, he's a hint, Zido, Quaggy in the Nahata, Leniki Quaggy Yabe Nasan, Ado, Bakaisen, Kasali, Yan Yatas, Keto, Yandas, Tiligi, Ado, Lady Nat, on in that Lady, Jay Kutsas, Edo, Yaha, Ado Yat, O Ea, Ye, Chapter in a Hast Adoli. Not, not, uh, not, uh, 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 Oh, she ribbon cutting day, I by another Elias Lee, who shall cast in local, then he not only than Lenigi, Quan, Canada has case lay. I don't genon, he's a yada, she open a hat and Lenigi, a ya, a good talk, a good a lacco. Quashe, I ain't get a cabana dish. 
Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's presentation. I sure did. And I just want to say um, thank you again to the Navajo Nation Travel Utility Authority, to Choice Wireless, to the Office of the President and Vice President, also to the 24th Navajo Nation Council.